how to remove search protect by conduit now this is a browser hijacker changes your home page to search dot conduit dot com and so when you try to search up something uh, you're gonna be searching under the conduit search so the easiest way to get rid of this is we're gonna uninstall it so you you want to go and you want to find search for checked by conduit on your programs list and you want to uninstall it now you can also do this with CCleaner so what you want to do is you want to start up CCleaner you want to go to tools you want to go to uninstall and you want to find it and then click run uninstaller you know also they do have startup files so you can go on here and see go to the startup part of this OC cleaner and see if you see anything on there that says search protect by conduit and go ahead and delete it now if you can't access any of this due to search protect by conduit you can always boot up in safe mode and try to do the same in safe mode now also you can use startup control panel as you can see you can delete the startup pro processes too that starts up with the computer so um you can go on there and find search protect by conduit and remove it that way and the lastly thing we're going to do is we're going to run a scan on my robot anti malware to clean up anything else that might be on your computer so go ahead and download my robot anti malware from the link in the description and now at the end of the installation it will say do you want to run Malwarebytes into malware, and do you want to update Malwarebytes into malware? Leave those checked. Click to finish, and let it. Um, once it loads up and finishes update, if you already got it installed, then go to the update tab and check for updates. Now there's one thing we're gonna have to do once this updates. We're gonna be going to the settings tabs, and we're gonna make sure that we have it set to check everything automatically this is something that is pretty cool if you got like a hundreds two hundreds infected files on your computer 200 files that's infected or something like that um, I've actually cleaned a computer that had about a hundred and some or more about 157 infected files and I didn't have that checked so yeah I was taking my time going down and checking those so once you have updated, just go to the settings tabs and go to the scanner settings. And now what you want to do is you want to put this to show in results list and check for removal. So this is what we're going to be doing here on the scanner settings. That way, if you do have a lot of stuff, you don't have to worry about checking them. And it will save a little bit of time. So once you have done that, you want to go to the scanner tab. And you want to perform a quick scan. Now go ahead and click scan. Now the scan can take uh, a little while depending on what type of, how much RAM you got and how many files you got on your computer. But like it's a quick scan, so it should take you know not that long. But I'll be back. I'm gonna let it run. Okay, so the scan completed successfully. Click show results to display all objects. To the yeah to display all detected objects. Click OK. Click show results. And as you see that we got a uh, conduit here and open candy. Just these are in my tent, but it'll come up and say it shows something like this conduit, and you might have some other stuff. So what you want to do is you want to click remove selected. Now it might ask you that you need to reboot, so just be prepared for that. So let's go ahead, and it opens up a log file and tells you like you know what it found and as it says it's urgent you must restart your system to remove all active threats properly click yes to restart now so go ahead and click yes don't forget to follow me on twitter like my facebook page thank you for watching <laughs>